Hi, I'm Jerry Romano. I'm going to share with you my favorite recipes that are easy to prepare and taste great. Today I'm going to make butternut squash, apple, and ginger soup. It's a fantastic dish which I think you're going to love. This soup is super simple to make. <laughs> Can I say that 10 times fast? I don't think so. Anyway, this soup has only a few ingredients. Here they are. Butternut squash, red or green apple, half cup onion, one tablespoon of ginger, one quarter chicken stock, two sage leaves, nutmeg, yogurt, or sour cream. There are a few steps to making this delicious soup. First, we're gonna roast the butternut squash in the oven to concentrate the flavors, then cook all the soup ingredients, then puree them in a blender, and then warm it all back up to be served. Come on, let's get started. First, set the oven to 400 degrees. Now, with a very sharp knife, let's cut the butternut squash in half. Scoop out the seeds. Then score the surface so moisture can escape in the oven. Season with some salt, brush with some extra virgin olive oil, then bake them in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. And here we are, 40 minutes later and they're nice and roasted. With the pot on medium high, add a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, half a cup of diced onion, one tablespoon of finely chopped ginger, the peeled seeded sliced apple, and finally, the butternut squash. Now let's add two sage leaves to build some flavor. And add two cups of chicken stock and cook it on medium high for 20 minutes until everything is soft. 20 minutes later, now let's get this into a blender. puree until smooth. It looks a little thick, so I'm going to add another cup of chicken stock. That's blending up real nice. Now I'm going to pour it back in the pot and adjust the consistency and season it. Now I'm going to season it with some salt and pepper. Let's check the consistency. That looks pretty good. I used only three of the four cups of chicken stock. Now let's get this delicious soup into a bowl. A dollop of yogurt or sour cream pinch of nutmeg, and you know what's next. It really is something how simple this is to make and how good it tastes. Let's see. Mmm, that's good. I hope you make this one. It's really a fantastic soup. Remember, all it takes to make delicious food is great ingredients, a little bit of technique, and lots of passion. Thanks for joining me today.